Well, we all know that the holidays are an easy time to put on hold oh, those extra pounds if we're not careful. Carolyn O'Neill is a registered dietitian and author of, get this, Slim Down South Cookbook. She is joining us this morning from Atlanta, Georgia, to give us some easy ways on uh, having a holiday favorites while keeping calories in check. And that's, th those are two hard things to do, is to, is to have the holiday favorites and to keep things in check. Hi, Carolyn. Good morning to you. Good morning. You know, as a registered dietitian working with the Calorie Control Council, I'm here with the good news. And the good news is, yes, you can indulge without the bulge this year. It just takes a few smart strategies. Tell us about those strategies. First of all, you know, you want to... Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, you want to make sure when you're going into the big meal or the big party, you're not starving yourself. Don't save yourself up, you know, for going in and overindulging. And as a dietitian, I would recommend you have some kind of protein, you know, in a snack or a mini meal before you go, such as, you know, a reduced calorie yogurt. Or maybe you like a shake or a smoothie. Make sure there's some protein in there with some fat-free milk or maybe some peanut butter. And these get their sweetness from low-calorie sweeteners. So, again, you get that same joy same nutrition, but fewer calories. And you know, don't blame, uh, let's say, the bird at, at the big meal for um, overdoing your calories from the day. Um, it's actually the side dish and, uh, dishes that put us over the top. So I recommend this year, you know, really going for the gorgeous ingredients that we have in the South with the green beans, with caramelized onions and some pecans, fresh cranberries, of course, available this time of year, and fresh oranges instead of, you know, the canned cranberry sauce. But do not skip dessert. You know, uh, this is a pumpkin cheesecake and sweet potato pie. You know, we love sweet potatoes in the South. And pumpkin, really very nutritious. But these are smart recipes because we've lightened them up and instead of sugar, used low-calorie sweeteners. That, that's, that's some really great ideas. One of the things that I have a problem with, and, and you being a dietitian, registered dietitian, you understand this when people come to you, is portion, uh, portion amount for myself. I just want to just pile everything into the, onto the plate. Well, you know, a couple things there. First of all, don't forget the liquid portion of portion control this time of year, too, with all the cocktails. Uh, and so, again, being smart about it, these recipes right here, this is a, an iced orange cappuccino. And this is actually an alcoholic beverage here made with, you know, hard apple cider is really in right now. But we sweeten them up with low-calorie sweeteners. Again, a skinny version. And my other tip is when you're at the buffet, start with a small plate rather than a big plate. Choose your favorites. Don't get the foods you can have all year long. Really prioritize. Uh, the deliciousness and, of course, the good nutrition. So it's a healthy and happy holiday season. Absolutely. I love that going with a smaller plate. You pile that up. You've actually put on smaller portions than the larger plate. Carolyn, thank you so much for joining us today. All these Hopefully. recipes can be found at caloriecontrol.org. Great. Thank you so very much. Have a great and a safe holiday season. Thank you. Stay with us. We've got more in just a moment.